श्रुति स्मृति पुरा आलय करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्र भाष्यकृत वंदे भगवतुनःश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योमवत् व्याप्त देहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम सदाशिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा ओ सहनावत सह नौ भुनक् सह वीर्यंकवाहै तेजस्वी नवधी तमस्तु मिषा वह ओ शाति 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 ओ पार्थय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणन स्वयं व्यान ग्रथिता पुराण मुनिना मध्ये महाभारत अद्वैतामृतवर्षिणी भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायिनी अंबत्वासंदा भगवदीतेषिणी यं ब्रह्म वरुणेन्द्र रुद्रमुता स्तुन्वती दिव्यस्तव वेद सांग पद क्रमोपनिषद गायती यं साम ध्यानावस्थि तद्गते न मनसा पश्यती यं योगिना न विदुस्सुरा सुरगणा देवाय तस्म नम देवाय तस्म नम So am I audible? Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Sri Vidya Sudhakar. so we will chant from uh, 65 <coughs> prasade sarva dukhanam prasade sarva dukhanam anirasyo pajayate anirasyo pajayate prasanna chetaso khyashu prasanna hetaso cha chetato khyahu प्रसन्न चेतसो प्रसन्न चेतसो ह्याशु ह्याशु बुद्धि पर्यवतिष्ठते बुद्धि पर्यवतिष्ठते नास्ति बुद्धिरयुक्त नास्ति बुद्धिरयुक्त न चायुक्त भावना न चायुक्त भावना न च भावयत शाति न च भावयत शाति अशात कुत सुखम अशात कुत सुखम इंद्रिया चरता इंद्रिया चरता यो नुविधीय यो नुविधीय तदस्य हरति प्रज्ञा हरति वायुर्नावमिवांभसी वायुर्नावमिवांभसी तस्मा्य महाबा तस्मा्य महाबा निगृहीता निगृहीता 
ಜಾಗರ್ತಿ ಸಂಯಮಿ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ and uh, now in the process of answering arjuna's first question to krishna in the context of the teaching arjuna said many things before but now after the teaching started in verse number 54 he asked the question sthita pragnasya ka bhasha tell me more about this sthita pragna one who has this knowledge how can i identify that person how can i know that person what will he be like what will she be like that is a question he asked before and so many verses were spoken since then and uh, in particular the f- f- till 57 the main main ideas behind is sthita pragna ಆತ್ಮನ್ಯವ ಆತ್ಮನ ತುಷ್ಟ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಒನ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ದೋಸ್ ಐಡಿಯಾಸ್ ವೇರ್ ಟಾಕ್ಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ವೀತ ರಾಗ ಭಯ ಕ್ರೋಧ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಫ್ರೀ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಬೈಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಡಿಸೈರ್ಸ್ ಆಂಗರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ವೇರ್ ಮೆನ್ಶನ್ಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ನೈ ಏಟ್ ಟು ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಒನ್ ದಮ ಸೊ ಮಾಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಓವರ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಪರ್ಸ್ಯೂಟ್ಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ಟಾಕ್ಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ and then from 62 onwards uh, mastery over one's mind one's ways of the mind that was talked about and then so that concluded in 68 and 69 he brings about this with a desire to tell arjuna that it is really not possible to identify a wise person uh, unless you know what it is all about only knowledge can help you identify another person who has the same knowledge how can you know who who a mathematics teacher is there is a board outside the office you know my name is there and everybody says he or she is a mathematics teacher that's only way you know you don't there, there is no other way and uh, well if you hear that person speak talk um and if you know mathematics and let's say basic mathematics algebra etc and the person says talks speaks and then you know yeah this person knows to teach mathematics that's the only way you can identify somebody who knows nothing about a particular subject matter cannot identify an expert in that subject matter okay this this is fairly obvious to us and so to 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 say that here he gives a nice simile about not a simile per se but is is in a very interesting way he says what is night ya nisha sarva bhuta naam sarva bhuta naam means for all people for all people what is night is day for the wise person like that he puts it in a very interesting way and then what is day for everybody is night for the wise person like that he says so we are spending some time on the shloka because shankaracharya spends time on the shloka and because puja swami ji therefore spent time on the shloka so can you imagine how our study is progressing we are not just randomly saying things we are following shankara every step of the way swami ji would say go behind shankara 
like that he would say go behind shankar as far as possible so that when we say something we should ask ourselves is this what adi shankaracharya would have said like that we should say if no then you take back you you just say no that is that's not correct so that's how we allow shankara to guide us that's why we start the prayer with that also so <clears throat> with that background here we were looking at uh, this shloka and we we said this uh, we are comparing the vision of the wise person versus the vision of the person who does not have that knowledge so for for people for all of us for most people everything that we see we hear is real absolutely real real means absolutely real you're not denying the reality of anything in this world but understand reality is of three types what are the three types of reality one is one is the pratibhasika satyam one is the reality that i create reality that i create like dream dream is very real for me right for the dreamer the dream is very real and so but that dream really doesn't exist for everybody else and it won't be considered as real and so but still it is real for me during that during the spell of the dream it's real so that reality which is created by me me means that dreamer created the dream that human being conscious human being created the dream therefore that reality is called pratibhasika satyam pratibhasika satyam what is projected by me by the individual it's called pratibhasika so in life we do it don't just dream dream is just an example to explain pratibhasika satya but whenever i see something that really doesn't exist that is called pratibhasika satya so when i say this person is useless okay so and so person is useless john is useless john is useless if you say how correct is that statement hey he does a lot of work at home his people family members think he is quite useful and uh, he is very much doing a lot of things he knows to do a lot of things but i say he is useless so it's a bold categorical statement i make which is not true john is not useless in particular in a particular type of thing and he did not help you and he repeatedly he did not help you and therefore you lost hope you don't trust him anymore and you say john is useless so john is useless is not a correct statement and it's not an objective statement at all so i am projecting something on that person it's my projection therefore it is called pratibhasika satya but i don't know it's pratibhasika satya correct unless unless i come out of it i snap out of it i won't know i think it's real whatever i project on people is real for me like dream dream is real for me unless i come out of that dream until i come out of that dream okay so like this pratibhadika such rope snake is another example snake i see a snake snake is real until i come out of that spell of seeing a snake and say oh my god this is just the tube that i threw outside yesterday night you know an old hose and so it's not a snake so so all that is pratibhasika satyam projection okay second type of satyam is what what about that real rope what about all the table chair and so many things which are all there they are all real they are all real absolutely real until i come to know that there is something absolutely real correct that brahma so therefore because there is that brahma 
which is not recognized in many cultures many religions don't understand brahma they don't desire to they stop with god in heaven so the question of what is god what is the relationship between me and god beyond just a devotee god relationship they don't ask the question the minute you ask the question then the physicists also love it and vedantins and physicists come together come together and there is no there is no animosity at all there is never animosity for us all knowledge is saraswati so we have no problem and the the, the mother of all knowledge is if i can say is this paramarthika satyam the absolute reality correct absolute reality so every every wave thinks i am different from you i am mortal until the waves come to know hey wait a minute this ishvara this samudra this ocean is water and i am that same water my god i am no different from the ishvara fundamentally and you are no different from ishvara this amazing vision is there and that is called paramarthika satyam but that is not known to me until that is known to me i consider everything else is absolutely real and once it's known to me i have to now give a name to what i used to consider as absolutely real everything in this world absolutely real no everything is not absolutely real because everything depends on that brahma for its existence therefore the name our shastram gives is uh, vyavaharika satyam vyavaharika satyam so uh, which the word doesn't exist in other, in english you won't find a word for paramarthika satyam because everything is real reality stops with this vyavaharika satyam and brahma is not known but for us we need we need that so that brahma is called satyam and everything else that i consider as vyavaharika satyam transactional reality yes everything is real transactional you can't say there is no table and all that we don't talk like that table is very much there but it depends on wood for its existence which depends on brahma for its existence table has a dependent reality vyavakarika satyam means dependent reality of course dream also is dependent reality but dream is just unique to me i project only i see the dream nobody else sees the dream <clears throat> but vyavaharika satyam everybody sees the same thing everybody sees the same planet everybody sees the same room the same tree the same table chair etc everything is same so therefore that is there as the reality the vyavaharika satyam reality is is belongs to everybody but the dream belongs only to me i project the dream but the table and chair no i don't project that is ishvara srishti it's there for everybody to appreciate okay having said this so that wise person is one who appreciate this appreciates what the paramarthika satyam correct paramarthika satyam is understood brahma satyam jagan mithya the world is mithya dependently real i am the absolutely real that brahma is not different from me this appreciation is there the wave this is called the wise wave indian ocean wave who who seems you know the swami ji gives this example the pacific wave came rushing and rushing and just and the indian ocean wave saw what happened to you what why are you anxious like this you know it's just uh, it's just pandemic and this and that and there's so much stress and and uh, i don't know what to do and uh, then the indian ocean wave has to teach that uh, that pacific wave that the true reality you know the guru wave so you talked about the guru wave the guru wave has to come and teach wait a minute waves waves will come and go but you are not wave we are more than the wave do you know that so that is the teaching here and so the wise person sees this brahma satyam and anybody who doesn't see that is going to see this world as real absolutely real so many things are there so many things 
to do and to accomplish and through which I can become more secure. This is the idea. And my idea is confirmed by everybody else also. Everybody else also says the same thing. Therefore, I think I know everything. So, this being the state, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> so there is in, in Tamil, there is a Thirumandira written by Thirumular. He gives the example of the child playing with a toy. A toy elephant, wooden elephant. Okay, that's what you must remember. Wooden elephant. And uh, and the, for the child, it's a beautiful. It's an elephant. Elephant, ama elephant. He says, big elephant. My father got me a big elephant. Okay, now, but it's made of wood. Marathai maraitadu mamada yanai. Correct? Some of you are shaking your heads. Marathai maraitadu mamada yanai. This elephant hid the wood. The elephant concealed the wood. For the child, the elephant concealed the wood. The child does not see the wood. The child sees the elephant. Correct? Marathai maraitadu mamada yanai. Then what happens? Marathil maraindadu mamada yanai. Then what happened? This, this, the father and mother, they're all very enlightened people, you know, when I mean, it comes to all this. And uh, they bought him a sandalwood elephant, not ordinary wood, sandalwood. So their drishti is on the sandalwood. <laughs> elephant chalega, so what? Elephant is there, this is there, flower vase is there, so many things are there. Ganesha also is there. Sandalwood. And this, I can buy a sandalwood elephant for my child. So their drishti is on the sandalwood. So what does Thirumular say? Marath, uh, marathil maraindadu mahamada yane. In the wood disappeared the elephant. Previously, wood disappeared in the elephant. Later on, the elephant disappeared in the wood. Correct? Wood concealed the elephant. Look at this. Same object, two different visions. Correct? And then it goes. And then Parathai Maraitadu Parmudal Bodham. Parathil Maraindadu Parmudal Bodham. So, like that child did not recognize this wood. Like that, all of us don't recognize this Panchabhutani, this entire world. The entire world covers that Brahma like the elephant covered the wood. And once the teaching is there, then Brahma covers the entire world. You see only Brahma. Like the parents see only sandalwood. This is the this is the beauty. This is how they used to present. My God, look at that. In Tamil, if it is there, it must be there in Hindi, it must be there in Gujarati, all Bengali, everywhere it must be there. And uh, so, those are the two visions. So, somebody comes and says, this is too stressful. The world is too much. world is too much. What does Shastram say? Shastram says, the world is not too much. You are too much. You are the world. The world is not too much. You are too much. Because you are the world. The entire world is you. What? Yeah, you are too much. You are the thing. You are the world. <clears throat> you are the world. Suddenly I am thinking of something else now. Some thought came. We are the world. How many of you know we are the world? Yeah, so many of you know that. So it's a, it's a song. Some 35 years ago, 1985 if I remember right. That's when there was this Africa, famines in Africa and all these things were going on. And so there was a benefit concert con conducted in America. And all these famous singers came together 
a song written by Michael Jackson and Lionel Richie called We Are the World, We Are the Children, like that it goes. So I remember that because those were my first few days in America. And so I used to, everything I was looking at with awe, you know, and uh, everything is clean and so much grass and it's all very nicely manicured and this and that and no potholes in the streets, all this is there. So there comes We Are the World. <clears throat> So here, you are the world. Tvameva sarvam. Aham sarvam idam. Shankara says, uses that phrase in the commentary of the shloka. Aham sarvam idam. Everything here is me. He says that. That vision is there for this person. Okay. So, so going back to the context. That yanisha sarva bhutanam tasyam jagarti sanyami. Krishna trying to say, see, the, 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 the person, nobody can know the wise person unless you have the wisdom. That idea is being said. So the ignorance and knowledge cannot meet. That's the idea, correct? And uh, so here Swamiji gives a story. He says, here is my story about why the sun rises every day. That's his story. Okay, tongue in cheek. So, Narada went to Surya Loka. Narada. Only Narada can go to Surya Loka, you know, because he is the one who has this, this cosmic visa and he can go around. He is a citizen, he is, he is a multiple, he is dual citizen, triple citizen, and all that. So, he can go anywhere. So, he goes to Surya Loka because he hasn't seen Surya in a long time, paying a visit there. And Surya was happy to see Narada. Because only through Narada, he comes to know about all the other things that are going on in the world. And they have a conversation. And Surya asks, Surya Bhagavan asks, Surya Devata, Hey Narada, how are things? You are coming from Earth. Okay, how are things in Earth? In Bhuloka, how are things? Yeah, things are all right. They are all uh, good. And, uh, and uh, you know, they praise you a lot. Sun, they praise you a lot. Really? Ah, okay. What a, uh, I'm happy to hear that. And they say you are you are all knowing. And uh, because without you, there's no life. And you are the one who illumines everything. Therefore, you are all knowing. Well, that's nice to know. Thank you. But Maharaj, I, have, I, I, I take exception to that. What exception? You don't know. You still, you know a lot, but there's one thing you don't know. What is one thing? There is a lady called Miss Darkness. And I don't think you've met her. Really? You mean to say I've not met somebody in this world? I thought I... No, you've not met... met. Do you know Miss Darkness? Have you heard of her? No, I've not heard of her. Yeah, that's because you've not met her. <laughs> so... Then he said, where, where can I meet her? I want to meet her now. Yeah, it, she's there. She's there in India right now. So you can meet her there. So Surya Bhagavan said, okay, I'm going to go to see this darkness. And he rushed towards India. And then he looks around and Miss Darkness is not there. Why? Because Miss Darkness went off to Australia, to New Zealand, to Antipodes, she went off. And so he heard about that and he said, no, I'm going to go. And so Surya Bhagavan went to Australia. But by that time, it seems it was a bit too late because she kept moving. And uh, so day after day, this went on. And Surya Bhagavan doesn't want to give up, looks like. And so this is how, this is why we have sun rising every 24 hours. <laughs> and uh, this story... Swamiji says, and so, like this, sunlight and darkness cannot meet each other. Likewise, this knowledge and ignorance don't meet each other at all, cannot meet each other. And uh, it's, uh, that's not, uh, that's not a good answer. It may not, I don't think Arjuna would have been happy to hear this. Even having asked a question about, you know, who is a wise person? 
you know, suppose a child asks the parents, it's hard, child is hardly five, six years old, and then child says, what is college? Yeah, I also want to go to college. And uh, how do you answer this question? Yeah, college is there. You don't have to worry about it. You want to understand what college is. Suppose you say, I think that's, uh, that, that's a bit uh, disappointing for the child. The child is asking, what is college? I heard all these people talk college, college, then what is college? That word is new. I know so many things, but this word college, I don't understand. And uh, so then the parent has to say something. But college, college means this, this, that. And like, it's like school, it is just a bigger school. And after you go to sixth, you know, the third the KG, one, two, like that, you have to explain. Then the child has some hope. The doors are open. Yeah, I'm going to go to college one day. And the child goes around telling people, you know what, I'm going to go to college one day. You know that. So that, that's important. So, so here also, Krishna is not trying to discourage Arjuna. But just trying to differentiate knowledge and and the lack of knowledge and uh, the the ignorant person sees the world as a problem the wise person does not see a problem this is how contrasting the views are and uh, everything is a glory everything is a glory and the wise person is available to teach, available, depending on that person's prarabdha karma, all that is there. And so one sees a problem, one doesn't see a problem. This is how the life is, this is how the visions are, so different. So in Upanishad, there is an Upanishad, Taitriya Upanishad, in Yajur Veda. And some of you, some of the Vedadhyayis, you know, you have chanted this. And towards Upanishad, the Taitri Upanishad has three vallis, three chapters, if you will. And the last chapter ends like this. Okay, I'm going to chant it first. Okay. Yetat samagayan naste. Yetat samagayan naste. The wise person is being described. And that wise person, how does, what does he do? Aste, the person relaxes. Doing what? Singing this mantra. Singing all the Veda mantras. Relaxes singing all the Veda mantras. Etat samaga yan naste. Ha. U ha. U ha. U. Ahamannam, ahamannam, ahamannam. Ahaman nado, Ahaman nado, Ahaman nada. A huggish cloak, a crit, a huggish cloak, a crit, a huggish cloak, a crit. Ahamas me pratamajarita. Sia poor one day, babe, Joe, Amritasena. Bye. Yo ma da da ti sai deva ma va ha ahaman naman naman me so like that it goes aham vishram bhuva nama bhya bhavam suvarna jyoti ihi ya evam veda ityu panishat that's how the Upanishad ends now let me explain this Etat samagayan naste. The person relaxes singing this mantra. What is that mantra? Havu, havu, havu. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. Life is great. Right? Life is tough. Life is great. This is wonderful. Okay. Havu, havu. Then what? Ahamannam, ahamannam, ahamannam. Annam, food. Ahamannam. I am the food. I am the food. I am the food. Ahaman nado, ahaman nado, ahaman nada. I am the eater of the food. I am the consumer of the food. I am the one who is eating that food, which I am also. Food is I. Eater of the food is also I. Ahaman nada. 
అండ్ దెన్ వాడు అహగ్ ఇంకా పుస్తకం వచ్చింది ఆయన ఇంకా అహగ్ శ్లోక కృత అహగ్ శ్లోక కృత అహగ్ శ్లోక కృత అహమస్మి ప్రథమ జారత అహమస్మి ప్రథమ జాయం ది రితాస్య ఐఎమ్ ది ఫస్ట్ వన్ క్రియేటెడ్ ఇన్ దిస్ క్రియేషన్ ఐఎమ్ ద ఫస్ట్ వన్ క్రియేటెడ్ వాట్ ఐ మీన్ యు ఆర్ ద ఫస్ట్ వన్ క్రియేటెడ్ ప్రథమ జా వెల్ బికాస్ when did i not exist first of all to begin with i am consciousness and therefore it always was always is always will be so aham asmi prathama jar and then rutasya purvam devebhyo amritasya na bhai purvam devebhyo i was born before all the gods all the devatas i was born same thing same reason i was born before all devatas look at the way and then amritasya na bhai i am eternal i am the center of all immortality and then what yo ma dadati sai deva ma va one who gives me food nourishes me nourishes me then what ahamannam ahamannam i am food adanta madmi the one who eats food without sharing that person i eat i eat the person who eats food who without sharing food okay that is that is what is being said so sharing very important in our culture all cultures sharing is so important giving is so important because what do you lose by giving you lose by not giving really speaking so that is being said here then aham vishvam bhuvanam abhya bhavam so i am the entire world like that suvarna jyoti ihi so i am the entire world like the sun sun's shine sun's illumination pervades the entire world ya evam veda one who understands this understands the vision of the vedas ityupanishad it is upanishad this is what the upanishad says like that this is how the upanishad ends concludes so you can imagine the vision of the wise person and uh, <clears throat> so that's why shankara spent some time on this and uh, so it's so easy to say this darkness and uh, day day and night and then walk away and uh, so here we do take some time here so for that person shankara does make a point here that wise person because he are talking about opposites no so we have to bring in all those opposites how does how do those op- that those opposite visions manifest in the person's life we know how it manifests in our lives and for but for a wise person shankara makes a point there is no karma for a wise person there is nothing to be done for a wise person why nothing to be done aham vishvam bhavanam abhya bhavam i am the entire world so what are you going to become by getting doing something doing is meant for becoming only doing is meant for getting so we are not talking about maintaining the body etc there is some action involved in consuming food etc but doing something to become something does not exist for this person because there is no second there is no fear why because there is no second fear always comes from a second thing there is no second so fear is gone no karma no karma is there and and because that person is also akarta non doer an important vision which we will see later also and and so that that person, shankara uses the word sarva karma sanyasi that person is a sarva karma sanyasi quietly introduces that word 
person is a sanyasi sanyasi means one who gives up gave up one who gave up what well all karmas sarva karma all karmas are given up no longer has any value karma does not have a value any actions that are done actions get done but that is for the maintenance of the body etc actions have to be done but there is no doership involved in that no doership how do you understand doership kartritvam karta is an important topic doership agency so your friends your friends are visit not friends your your brother's family sister's family is visiting after a long time and their children have grown up are growing up they recently had children and small children you haven't seen them in ever since they were born because they were in another country you are in this country and they come so it's a family gathering you're so happy and all these kids going around running around and uh, thanks to whatsapp and all these things they have seen you and say they know who you are so they say uncle uncle and uh, please play with me and so you play with them and they are throwing balloons and you are also throwing balloons back at them they are so happy and then me mu you run all this thing goes on and somebody else says you want to another niece says i want a nephew says i want to play ball with you so you throw the ball back and forth this goes on this goes on and because you none of you have seen each other for a long time children of course they they play they never want to stop playing and you got lost because you didn't see them and so you don't mind so after 3 hours what happened the children say i played basketball and you know uncle you don't know how to play basketball you should learn you know i will teach you okay so this is how the child this is this young child is saying and the other person says i won the game i beat you by two points and uh, i'll teach you how to do better and uh, like this the children are all taking this seriously and they say i did this you did not do this etc what about you what about this uncle how what does uncle view this things as i won a game i lost a game therefore i need to beat you is that the way the the person thinks no i had a good time ha wo ha wo ha u correct what a great time yes i played what about all the games you played yeah as though i played i played because that was my duty at that time i had to play i played that's all this is the difference in vision look at that <clears throat> and uh, so here here shankara talks about this how this vision comes about how come this person says ha u okay what is it that happens so he talks about ignorance and knowledge what is knowledge really do and so the rope snake example is given here i see a snake when i see a snake i am going to respond to the snake i have no choice i have to respond to whatever i see there is no choice and so the minute i see a snake i see it rattling i i see a hood i see fangs and i see fangs coming in and out and i see the hood shaking like this this is this is this is what i see and so i respond to that i respond to that with fear i respond to that with defense i respond to that with so many things retreat running away running towards all this game goes on now when the knowledge of rope happens 
when i come to know that this rope this snake this really not snake it is a rope what the knowledge does is it removes the ignorance removes the ignorance rope ignorance if i can say rope knowledge removes rope ignorance rope knowledge can only remove rope ignorance it cannot remove some other ignorance so when that ignorance is gone then what happens all the problems that are caused by that ignorance means what rope ignorance makes me see a snake so all the problems caused by my my vision of the snake goes away so all the palpitations go away all the running around goes away all the anxiety goes away everything goes away so knowledge removes all the problems that ignorance created correct that is the way we look at it that's the way shankara looks at it that's the way vedanta all our acharyas looks at it that is why the knowledge is so important we can't simply say oh this is theory you have to practice it take kumar ji there is a lot of theory you know a lot of words buzzwords are there what to do you know we are all 40 50 60 70 and there so many interesting things to do i'm sitting here studying vedanta well this theory practice idea is very much there in the head because it's been drilled into our head from school onwards you go to the lab you have to practice everything you studied in chemistry is not true until you practice it then you go mix some things like this and you see color change ah that is what it is that is what acid plus base is equal to salt plus water something like that we have studied and uh, so th- th- you need to practice what you studied correct now tell me this person who saw the rope who was told that this is not a snake it is a rope tell me what kind of practice he must engage in hmm? should he practice rope is this a real rope or not i must check it out and so maybe he will tie it up and he will try to hang himself or what no that kind of practice not needed rope is rope over knowledge is there snake is gone there is no practice my dear no need to practice because the vision is there that which caused me fear is gone the person no longer sees a snake where he saw a snake that's it that is the end that is the full stop and uh, so there is no theory practice here this is the unique thing where theory practice there is no such thing as theory and practice because an important fact is unfolded and it is like that person you have to go back to the person wearing glasses okay so you have to go back to the person wearing glasses and uh, person is searching for the glasses and the minute the person finds out that the glasses are not away from me then the entire pursuit stops he doesn't have to practice anything that knowledge itself liberates knowledge is liberation not practice of knowledge is liberation okay we will have a chance to unfold it further but something to appreciate here and uh, and here swami ji mentions this idea because the knowledge is like that because the person doesn't have any karma to be done does an action really does not apply to such a person because the person is akarta sarva karma sanyasi you cannot emulate the actions of a wise person don't emulate a wise person then what then what do you mean don't emulate a wise person there something i must appreciate about what they do yes emulate the thoughts of a wise person emulate the values of a wise person values 
because what the person does you may not be able to justify that's why you be careful the person's vision is different they don't see things the way you and i do and therefore don't emulate a wise person emulate the values <clears throat> okay Shankara makes another point, which I want you to know. Bit technical, very beautiful though. And uh, see, we are this course is going to go exactly like how our Swamiji used to teach. And so, I don't want any of you to be uh, denied of that. what swami ji taught there is a statement the vedas are not useful for a wise person the vedas do not make sense for a wise person suppose suppose i say that how will you respond to it the vedas are useless for a wise person if i say that why is that true why is that the case well it's not difficult to appreciate the vedas have done its job job is over so karma is prescribed karma is done a life is led grihastha ashrama is there and and karma yoga attitude is there and all karmas are done laukika karmas which is the so called secular actions and vaidika karmas vedic karmas are all done and it gives me gives that person chitta shuddhi and chitta shuddhi after that what well then upanishads come and tell you that you are the whole and that knowledge is also crystal clear like the knowledge of the rope crystal clear after that what what job the vedas can do karma the veda cannot ask this person to do karma because akarta for an akarta karma cannot be told three people were going walking and uh, somebody said john only who turns back only john turns back okay this this vikram and maithili they don't turn back because john was the one who was called right somebody said idiot then what happened <laughs> all three turn back <laughs> it's because it is there we all have been told at some time you idiot you're no good you're useless you know that 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 tape is running in the head that is why this happens idiot because maybe they are calling me you know that idea is there so we need to let go of the idea so the vedas is addressing the karta a hey, doer you need to do all these things get up in the morning and do sandhya vandana do your prarthana do your puja but this wise person is not a karta he is not going to respond like vikram and maithili did not respond to john this person is not going to respond therefore the vedas do not apply to this wise person so shankara says <laughs> pramanam the vedas loses its pramanatvam remember veda is a pramana i think you know this by now shabda pramanam so veda is a shabda pramana it's a pramanam vedas is like a mirror it is revealing to me who i am and vedas loses its pramanatvam its quality of being a pramanam it loses because the job is done job is done like that he makes a point here and some example how so it's like like if a thorn is there in the leg thorn leg see thorn and leg go together because those days i remember all these things all of you also remember all kids remember this so you walk around and some stone something pinches and some thorn goes in and the problem we come home and then what does the mother do she takes another thorn a pin 
spin means turn another sharp object like this sharp object and then carefully removes the thorn use a thorn to remove the thorn use a thorn to remove the thorn and after the thorn is removed then what the thorn in the hand is no longer useful it's also thrown out the thorn is useful only up to a certain point and once it has done its job the thorn is also thrown away another example also is given here ramaji gives this example too and the person passes away person is no more and the person is uh, cremated in our culture cremation so the body is burnt <clears throat> in a pyre in a wooden pyre body is burnt and the thing is that the body has to be burnt completely so except for bones etc the body has to will burn should burn should burn so it is a job of that person the person who takes care of the ground to make sure the body is completely burnt so what does the person do the person comes to as it is burning the person does come and then uses a stick to push it out push things so make sure everything is burnt everything is burnt then he confirms that everything is burnt and then what does he do yeah exactly the stick also he throws it there stick was very useful but now it is no longer useful stick is thrown it so like that why do we have to discuss all these things well because the visions are two different visions how do you compare we have to compare the way i see the world versus the way the gnani sees the world they are different correct <clears throat> so that pretty much kind of concludes what we want to say for this shloka and so since time is up we will conclude the shloka uh, we we'll look at the shloka and translate it in the next class so yanisha sarvabhutanam तस्याम जागृति संयमी यस्याम जागृति भूतानि सा निशा पश्यतो मुने हे वी विल ट्रांसलेट दैट इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमिदम पूर्णात पूर्णमुदच्यते पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवावशिष्यते ओम शान्ति 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 हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नमः हरि ओम